And, and the idea of that word quarrel literally is wars. It's the idea of hostility and animosity. And it's not just one particular thing, but it's really an ongoing private battle. As James thinks about his readers, he knows that among them, in their midst, are quarrels and fightings. And, and then he talks about conflicts. And these are the different battles that make up the war. And so there's some serious issues going on in this church among the people of God. There are quarrels taking place. There are conflicts taking place. In other words, there wasn't peace existing among the people of God. You remember when we talked about wisdom from above, we said the sign of that wisdom is that it's peaceable, that it produces peace among the people of God. Peacemakers are those who possess wisdom from above. But James is talking about the opposite. There's no peace in this section. There's conflicts. There's wars. There's people who are Christians, who are professing to be Christian, who are not getting along with each other. And James raises the question, where do these quarrels, where do these conflicts come from? These individual battles that you're having with each other, where do they come from? And he's not asking the readers to answer the question. He answers the question himself. There's a second question that we find at the end of verse 1. And that second question answers the first one. He says, is not the source your pleasures that wage war in your members? Don't you agree, readers? Won't you line up with me and agree with me and affirm that the source is your pleasures? The source is on your part. The, the reason why there's quarrels and war and conflicts and battles is not because of those people. James says it's because of you. It's because of your pleasures. And that word pleasure that he uses is really an interesting word because if we were to transliterate it into English, if we would just take the Greek letters and make them English letters, it will look just like the word hedonist. When he talks about pleasures, he's talking about hedonism. That philosophy of life that says it's all about pleasure. It's all about happiness. That's what he's talking about. And I don't want you to misunderstand James. I don't want you to misunderstand me. I don't want you to misunderstand the word of God. When James talks about pleasures, he's talking about sinful pleasures. He's talking about pleasures that are focused on self and self-gratification. He's not talking about pleasures in a good sense. There's a good sense that God has given us things to enjoy. Uh, so we shouldn't be walking around with a long face. We shouldn't be thinking that there's nothing here on earth that we can enjoy and find pleasure in. But what James is talking about are pleasures that leave God out, pleasures that focus in on self. Peter uses a similar idea, except he talks about lust. And he speaks of lust being those former desires that we used to have before we got saved. Fleshly lust, those, those desires that represent who we are outside of Christ. It represents our fallenness, the, the lust of men. Here, James uses pleasures, sinful pleasures. Before we got saved, we were a slave to these sinful pleasures. Titus chapter 3, verse 3 says, You were enslaved to various lusts and pleasures. Slaves. But when we get saved, God sets us free. But the pleasures don't go away. The pleasures don't remain neutral. Unfortunately, the pleasures 
still exist. And so when James talks about these pleasures, he, he doesn't see them as idle, but instead he sees them as warring. He sees them as warring. He, he says it's those pleasures that wage war in your members. See, these sinful desires, these pleasures that are focused on self are not idle, they're not neutral, but they are waging war in your members. That is, they're like individuals in the army, in the military, who are seeking to win a battle. And these pleasures want to win the battle. They want to win the war. They want to usurp the members of your body and express itself so that instead of doing God's will, you're doing the will of the flesh. And James said, you want to know what the source of you know, your quarrels and your conflicts are and, and why there are battles and why you're fighting with each other? It's all because of the fact of your pleasures. Those pleasures that are waging war, that want to express themselves through your eyes, through, 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 through your mind, through your hands, through your words. 